morning viewers uh, today i am going to discuss about uh, 11th standard physics chapter work energy and power right this is very important and interesting chapter especially for neat uh, i hope that you are ready to watch my class okay right so in this chapter uh, first i am going to discuss about uh, what is power sir what is work and second what are the different uh, forms of uh, formulas related to work done and its unit and dimension next whether it is a scalar quantity or vector next measurement of work done from the graphical method finally how to solve the problems okay based on this formulas so these are the things okay now we are going to discuss in this uh, okay I mean region right first of all okay we go for the definition of work okay generally work refers to both physical and mental work that is physical work and mental work we are commonly called as work but the meaning of work done in physics is entirely different that is here work is said to be done when force acts on a body at the point of application of a force moves through a certain distance that is in physics work is said to be done only when the external force is applied on the body first thing and second under the influence of that force the body must move from one point to another point then only work is said to be done all right suppose let us consider a body of mass m okay which is placed on a horizontal surface which is placed on a horizontal surface suppose a force f is applied on a body okay due to the force the body moves through a distance of dx right here work is said to be done the work done by the force is given by dw is equal to f into dx dw is equal to f into dx so due to the force the body moves through a small distance at dx so therefore work done by a force is a small it is generally represented by dw and it is given by dw is equal to f into dx and this expression is only applicable for if the body okay displaces along the direction of force applied along the direction of force applied otherwise a small work done is given by dw is equal to f dx into cos theta dw is equal to f dx into cos theta dw a small work done by the force f magnitude of external applied force dx small displacement of the body due to the force and theta angle between force and the displacement angle between force and the displacement right so depending upon the angle between force and the displacement the magnitude of work done by the force will be change right so this is for small work done right suppose the due to this force f the body okay displaces a total displacement of s okay for that case the work done by the force or total work done by the force is a w which is is equal to integration of dw integration of dw that is by integrating small work done by the force we can get the total work done by the force for displacing the body through a distance of s through a distance of s the limit is taken from 0 to s so therefore w is equal to integration of f dx 
cos theta, the limit is 0 to s. Right. Next to w is equal to here the magnitude of external applied force and the angle between force and the displacement of these two are constant. So constant value take outside. So we have cos theta into integration of dx, the limit is from 0 to s. So therefore, f cos theta integration of dx x the limit is from 0 to s. So f cos theta okay first uh, substitute upper limit then minus lower limit to 0. So that is equal to e of s cos theta. So total work done by the force is given by the formula w is equal to f s cos theta. So W total work done, F the magnitude of external applied force, S yes, the total displacement of the body and theta angle between force under the displacement, angle between force under the displacement. If the given values are external applied force displacement and angle between force under the displacement means then work done by the force can be calculated by using the formula W is equal to F cos theta. Suppose if you know the mass of the body and the acceleration experienced by the body due to the force displacement then angle between force under the displacement then we can calculate the work done by the force that is w is equal to m a s a to cos theta okay already we know that according to newton's second law force f is equal to m force f equal to m a but therefore w is equal to m a s into cos theta already i told what is meant by theta theta is angle between force and the displacement angle between force and the displacement right and one more thing okay work done may be positive or negative or zero okay work done may be positive or negative or zero right if the angle between force and the displacement is acute angle that is less than 90 degree less than 90 degree then cos theta value is positive therefore work done value positive work done value positive right that is if the theta value is less than 90 degree that is acute angle then work done is so positive work done is so positive for example if we draw an object from a certain height certain height the work done by the gravitational force is given by W is equal to general formula F s cos theta or W is equal to m g h into cos theta. Okay, here displacement is nothing but the height from which an object is dropped and g acceleration due to gravity and m mass of the body to be dropped from the certain height. Right, here theta value is 0 degree. Because if the object is dropped from a certain height, the gravitational force is acting downwards and the displacement of the body also acting downward. The angle between gravitational force and the displacement is along the same direction, so therefore theta value is 0. Okay. Then W is equal to mgh cos 0. Cos 0, 1. So therefore, W is equal to M G H. So here, work done value is positive. Work done value is positive. Right. Suppose if an object is thrown vertically upwards, the angle between the gravitational force and the displacement of the body is 180 degree. If the object is dropped freely, the angle between gravitational force and the displacement of the body is 0 degree then work done by the gravitational force is positive that is W is equal to mgh. Okay, suppose if the object is thrown vertically upwards the angle between gravitational force and the displacement of the body is 180 degree. In this case work done W is equal to F suffix G S into cos theta W is equal to F suffix G is nothing but mg and displacement is nothing but height by h okay and the theta value is 180 degree right cos 180 minus 1 
therefore w is equal to minus m g h. So in this case work done by the gravitational force is negative that is the w is equal to minus m g h minus m g h. Right and third the work done may be 0. Okay. For example if I apply a small force on the blackboard. Okay. Suppose the blackboard does not move then there is a displacement value is 0. If the displacement value is 0 means what about work done? Work done value also 0. Because work done W is equal to Fs cos theta. Since S value is 0, therefore work done by the force also 0. So work done may be positive or a negative or 0. Right. And next. Okay. okay. Formula W is equal to Fs cos theta. If force and displacement uh, acts along the same direction, theta value is 0 then cos 0 1 then w is equal to f into x so this is maximum work done by the force right we know that unit of a force is a newton and unit of a displacement is a meter unit of force is newton and unit of displacement is a meter and newton meter equivalent unit is joule one newton meter is equal to one joule one joule right so the si unit of work done is joule or otherwise a newton meter newton meter right from this unit we can okay, measure the dimension of work done okay dimension the newton equivalent unit kilogram meter second power minus 2 into meter but therefore kilogram meter into meter meter square second power minus 2 kilogram is a unit of mass its a dimension is capital m so therefore m power 1 and meter is a unit of length, its dimension is L and its value is L square. And S is a unit of time, its dimension is capital T. So here S power minus 2, but therefore T power minus 2. So M power 1, L power 2 and T power minus 2. So this is a dimensional formula for work done. SI unit of work done is Joule or Newton meter. And the dimensional formula for work done is m power 1, l power 2 and t power minus 2, t power minus 2. One of the formula for work done, w is equal to f s cos theta and another one, m a s into cos theta, m a s into cos theta, right. Suppose let us consider a particle in a two dimensional space, that is x, y. Suppose initially the particle is in the position P1 and its position vector is denoted by R1 vector. R1 vector, this is origin. Right. And due to the external force, the particle move from the position P1 to P2. P1, initial position of the particle, its corresponding position vector is R1 vector. And due to the external applied force, the particle okay, move from the position P1 to P2, this is final position and its a corresponding position vector is R2 vector, R2 vector. So due to the external force here, the particle move from the position P1 to P2. Right here, the displacement of the body due to the external force is S vector which is equal to R2 vector minus R1 vector, R2 vector minus R1 vector. Right, okay and one more thing. Actually, work done is a scalar quantity. Work done is a scalar quantity. But it can be written in vector form. It can be written in vector form. That is W is equal to F vector dot S vector. That is dot product or scalar product of force and displacement gives work done by the force. Work done by the force. So work done is a scalar quantity. But it can be written in vector form. The vector form of work done is W is equal to F vector dot S vector. F vector dot S vector. Right. F, okay, external applied force and S, displacement of the body. Right. For this case, the displacement of the body is given by S vector is equal to R2 vector minus R1 vector. But therefore, work done by the force W is equal to F vector dot R2 vector minus R1 vector. So, this is also another expression for work done, right? Work done W is equal to Fs cos theta or Mas into cos theta and next one vector form W is equal to F vector dot S vector or W is equal to F vector dot R2 vector minus R1 vector. 
R1 vector and R2 vectors are the position vector of the particle in the initial position P1 and the final position P2, final position P2, right. And work done expression okay, can also be expressed in uh, rectangular component form, rectangular component form. The rectangular component form of a force is f vector is equal to fx into i cap plus fy into j cap plus fz into k cap. Similarly, the rectangular component form of displacement is s vector is equal to s of x x into i cap plus s of x y into j cap plus s of x z into k cap. Right. Therefore, work done w is equal to f vector dot s vector w is equal to f x i cap f y j cap f z k cap dot s x i cap s y j cap s z k cap right? so this is component form of vortex or rectangular component form of vortex w equal to f x i cap plus f y j cap plus f z k cap dot s x i cap plus s y j cap plus s z k cap right so this is another formula right now what then formulas are w equal to f s cos theta w is equal to f vector dot s vector or w is equal to f vector dot r2 vector minus r1 vector and finally w is equal to f x i cap plus f y j cap plus f z k cap dot f s x i cap plus s y j cap plus s z k cap so these are various forms of written formulas, written formulas, right. And next to the measurement of work done from the graphical method, from the graphical method, right. Sitting on a body is a constant. Then for a constant force, constant force, the nature of force and the displacement the graph is like this. Here the displacement is taken along the x-axis and a constant force f is taken along the y-axis. The nature of the graph is like this. That is a straight line which is a parallel to the x-axis, which is parallel to the x-axis. So for a constant force, the nature of a force and displacement the graph is a straight line. That straight line is acts along the positive x-axis along the positive x-axis right so from this graph we can calculate what is the work done by the constant force right how by measuring the area under the okay straight line or area under the graph gives work done by the constant force so this is area under the line right here area under this straight line gives work done by the constant force done by the constant force right so this is nature of force displacement graph for a constant force for a constant force suppose okay for a variable force for variable force the nature of the graph is like this suppose like this here area under this curve gives work done by the variable force area is equal to right so for constant force or for variable force the work done by the constant force or work done by the variable force can be measured by measuring the area under the graph or under the curve under the curve so this is measurement of work done from the graphical method graphical method right Right, next to finally solving the problems, okay, based on these different formulas, right.